Good morning from Mahindra Research Valley. This is on the southern outskirts of Chennai and I'm driving the brand new Mahindra XUV400. Uh, it has a very catchy tune, 400. But anyway, let's talk about the car. Physically, it's very similar to the XUV300, but it is longer. It's 20 centimeters longer at 4.2 meters of length. It is a C category SUV. It's got a 40 kilowatt hour battery and a MIDC certified range of almost 456 kilometers. That is not the same as WLTP range, but you'll get to those differences uh, in another video. The car I'm driving has a bit of a beta feel to it. Some of the software updates have not yet been flashed. We don't get a bit of the displays over here on the center on the instrument cluster. But in terms of driving performance, uh, Mahindra engineers assure me that this is pretty much the final version. So we're taking it to um, skid pad right now uh, at MRV. I'm not taking this car to the track today. And we are on fearless mode. Okay, last night when I took this car, there was a slight wet patch, which is why it is quite exciting. There's a little wet patch today, which allowed me to give this car a bit of a whirl. It's got very good steering control. Um, electric thanks to the battery weight between the wheels always handle well. Um, this car feels solid. I mean, in terms of performance and bite, it feels solid. It's been very well done by Mahindra. It looks good. And um, the C segment is quite underpopulated. Now, it's a very successful segment for Hyundai and Kia with the Creta and the Seltos. But you only have the Kona and the MG ZS, both of which have their problems. The MG coming in from China and the Kona also being a largely import. That segment has about less than a single percent of monthly sales are electrics. The XUV 3 uh, 4 double, sorry, coming into the segment ought to give it a little bit of a boost. Uh, we still don't have how many cars Mahindra will produce in a year with this. Um, so far, so good. I like what I see. This may not be the final version, even with the interiors. You know, that's what happened even when you drove the Scorpio N as well as the XUV 700. What you saw inside is not the same. Of course, I'm sure these buttons and all will have a bit more display. I can't see that this is the drive mode, you've got fun, fast and fearless. Fun, I guess, is the base mode and fearless is the most exciting mode. Um, I really like these copper accents, both inside and outside. Pratap uh, Bose, uh, the chief design officer told me that these copper accents are part of the Mahindra Electric brand. So it's nice, um, well done. The seats have perforations god knows if they will finally have a version maybe with ventilated seats again um, again this is not the final version so you have android auto apple carplay screen size is a bit small as i said this may not be the final version uh, but in terms of sheer performance it's quite good um don't know what real life uh, range will be um, the Kona also has the MIDC certified range of, of over 400 kilometers. Although in real life, people I know who own the Kona tell me they get about 250 max. But even 250 kilometers of range should be more than enough for a, this car to be a good daily city commuter vehicle. So that's it. These are my first thoughts on the Mahindra XUV 400. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kushan Drives.